You know that smell. The moment you open the garage door, it hits you. It's hard to describe, but somehow familiar. It's a mix of oil, old paint, maybe a hint of rubber, and something else you can't quite put your finger on. It doesn't matter if your garage is attached to a house in the suburbs, part of a rental unit, or a standalone workshop. There's this universal garage scent that seems to defy geography, time, and even tidiness. But what exactly is that smell? Why is it so distinct? And why does it cling to garages in particular? Today, we're digging our noses deep into the world of odors, chemistry, and a little bit of nostalgia to uncover what causes that unmistakable garage smell, right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with something simple. The garage is more than just a place to park a car. For a lot of people, it's a workbench area, a storage unit, a dumping ground, or even a makeshift man cave. Over the years, it's accumulated all sorts of things, many of them with strong, lingering smells. Think of old cans of paint, lubricants, half-empty gasoline containers, and that set of lawn tools that probably hasn't been cleaned in years. The garage is like a museum of odds and ends, each item slowly releasing vapors that add to the smellscape. But what's really interesting is how your brain has connected all of those scents into one big sensory memory. Just like the smell of sunscreen might transport you to summer vacations, or the scent of crayons reminds you of childhood classrooms, the garage has its own olfactory nostalgia. And the more time you've spent in one, tinkering with a bicycle, helping a parent change oil, or rummaging through dusty shelves, the more that smell becomes anchored to those experiences. Now let's get a little technical. Because behind that familiar garage aroma is a very real cocktail of chemicals. First up, volatile organic compounds, or VOCs. These are substances that easily become vapors or gases at room temperature. They're found in paints, varnishes, cleaning agents, motor oil, and gasoline, all common residents of your garage. When VOCs evaporate into the air, they carry strong, often pungent odors. For instance, toluene and xylene, two solvents found in paint thinners and fuel, are especially aromatic and persistent. Over time, these compounds seep into the air and into porous surfaces like concrete, cardboard boxes, and wood, continuing to emit smells even after the source is removed. Then there's rubber and plastic degradation. Tires, tool handles, garden hoses, all made of materials that break down gradually, especially when exposed to temperature swings. As they age, they release a faintly burnt chemical smell, a little bit like scorched rubber or sun-baked plastic. Add to that the scent of motor oil, which contains additives that cling to air particles and concrete floors, and suddenly you've got a potent base layer for the garage fragrance we all know so well. But it's not all chemicals and car parts. Some of that garage funk comes from more natural and less pleasant sources. Garages tend to be poorly ventilated and can get quite humid, especially if you live in a climate with extreme seasons. This makes them a perfect breeding ground for mold and mildew, which contribute a damp, musty undertone to the overall aroma. You might not see the mold right away, it could be on cardboard boxes tucked under old rugs or hiding behind that stack of forgotten newspapers, but it's there and it's doing its part to season the air. And then there's dust, that fine grayish powder made up of everything from dirt and hair to skin cells and fabric fibers. In garages, dust tends to be mixed with sawdust, soot, and metal shavings, which gives it a sharper, more industrial scent. Let that dust settle into corners and sit undisturbed for months, and it absorbs all the VOCs and musty moisture around it, amplifying the overall smell. Of course, let's not forget the car or cars 
if you've got more than one. Your vehicle is one of the main contributors to that garage smell, even if it's not leaking or particularly dirty. Every time you pull in after a drive, especially in older vehicles, you're bringing in trace amounts of exhaust fumes, warm rubber odor from the tires, and residual gasoline smells that can linger long after the engine cools down. Even new cars off-gas their own set of chemical compounds from upholstery, plastics, and adhesives used during manufacturing. Then there's the brake dust, bits of metallic and carbon material that flake off during braking and settle on the floor or in the air. Combined with oil drips, coolant leaks, and worn out car mats soaked with moisture, your vehicle becomes a mobile perfume factory. Only instead of roses, you get O-Day Parking Garage. One part of the smell equation that often gets overlooked is, well, us. Our habits shape how our garage smells. If you use your garage as a workshop, you're likely dealing with wood shavings, metal filings, burnt solder, and spilled adhesives. If it's your main storage space, you've probably got bins full of holiday decorations, old clothes, shoes, and electronics, all of which release their own specific scents over time. Every material, from aging textiles to yellowing paper, adds a subtle note to the overall air. Some people smoke in the garage, which creates a long-term film of tar and nicotine that clings to the walls and ceiling, altering the smell for years. Others use it as a gym, which adds sweat and moisture into the air, combining with all those other layers of scent in ways that might not always be pleasant. What's particularly interesting is that garage smells stick. The concrete floor acts like a sponge, absorbing all those VOCs and gradually releasing them back into the air over time. Garages also rarely get the same level of ventilation or temperature control as the rest of the house. So instead of dispersing those smells, the space traps them, add some seasonal heat to accelerate evaporation, and the scent blooms anew every time summer rolls around. It's like the garage is slowly simmering a stew of everything that's ever been in there and serving it up to your nostrils every time you walk through the door. So the next time you open your garage and that smell greets you like an old friend, you'll know exactly what's going on. It's not just the scent of oil or dust or a car. It's a layered story. It's solvents, tires, temperature, time. It's old projects, forgotten boxes, and a little bit of your own history baked into concrete and wood. The garage smell isn't just a smell, it's a memory, a chemical cocktail, and a quiet reminder of all the things we stash away just out of sight. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.